here with first updates now at the New England Waterbury District. We're here with currently undefeated Team 176, here to break down some of their robot and what makes it special. Coming up next on Behind the Bumpers. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. So first, I'll pass the mic to Sarah to talk a little bit more about their intake and what makes it special. So um, our intake, we actually had Originally, we had um, an intake with like a claw that would close, open and close, but um, we realized it didn't work. And um, so we redesigned it to this, um, to this intake. So in order to pick up a cone, they um, rotate and it brings it in. And then um, the two, the, it's like these two rollers right here. And then it can spit it out. And so the cone mode and cube mode are different. So in order to pick up a cube, it actually uses the top two rollers. It, um, yep, it like rotates them and then it like squeezes a cube like that. And um, then it can spit it out to score. And we can score on all three levels, um, low, mid, and high. Can you talk a little bit more about the material that you have on here? Yeah. So um, our shafts are all aluminum, and we have the our th we have three D prints um, for the um, sprockets, and we have the um, like belts. Um, these are also aluminum. These these were we th uh, we what's it called? we powder coat all of our pieces um, at our shop. So this was aluminum. And so is uh, the other piece for the intake. Um, the spacers are also all aluminum and powder coated. And yeah, we also have like the bearings. Thank you. Next, let's move on to the next part of your robot, which is this gorgeous arm here. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Hi, so uh, for our arm design, we used our Mark Forge 3D printers to come up with kind of the rotating axis. We have a three axis rotation right here, and this allows us to adjust whether or not we want to go into cone mode or cube mode. And that is all attached to our carbon fiber arm that we have. Yeah, we can show that, yeah. So this is mid. And this is high. And here's home. There you go, just like that. And then um, attached to that, we also have our cording that goes around and allows us to be able to reach out so far. And we noticed that in the past we've used chains, but they weren't as rigid and we had more flexibility with that. So um, attaching the cord proved to be more uh, of a better solution for us. So that's how we integrated it. Yeah. Thanks, Anna. That is some nifty programming that you have there, especially with those set points. So Mike, can you tell me a little bit more about the coding that went into that? So the biggest challenge to programming the robot was getting the arm to move how we wanted it to move. So we convert the angles that we get from the two Falcons that control the arm, the base and the forearm into an XY coordinate with inverse kinematics. And from there, we can tell it to go to an XY position, the end effector, and then it'll take that XY position and then the motors will go to that, the angles that it gets from the inverse kinematics. Like for instance, uh, in cone mode, it comes out a little different. Here's mid and this is high. So the two biggest challenges with the arm were 
getting the end effector not to hit the base arm and also getting the arm when it's extended not to hit like the mid node or the high node because our arm would get stuck and that would be bad. So we have pre-generated trajectories for the arm and that ensures that it'll move back a little bit before moving to the high rung to score. Right, thank you, Mike. And now to wrap us up, Aiden, can you tell us a little bit more about your snazzy LEDs and what you're doing with them out on the field? So with our LEDs, you guys probably noticed by now, we have two strips. There's one on the front, one on the back. It helps us communicate with our human player over at the substations. So in cone mode, they're this yellow color. And then in Q mode, they change this purple color. And it just really helps communicate with our other human players and stuff like that. Another thing I think that wasn't mentioned is our wrist here has four degrees of motion. It can go up, down, sideways, and the arm gives it that extra axis that we need to get to the high cones and cubes. Well, thank you, Team 176. Good luck with the rest of your competition. I'm sure we'll see you have some great things in playoff rounds, and good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotics students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.